true. That only applies to a DPS or a, or a tank. Basically, if you're a healer and you get that mark that pulsates around you, the big purple one, you want to run to the opposite side of the map. So if everyone's stacked towards B, you're going to run and you're going to drop the meteorite at C. But if we're all at C, you're going to run and drop the meteorite at B. Got and it. Then you run okay. all the way back after after exactly after the prey disappears, immediately starts running back so the other person can rescue you if you guys want to do it that way. I would okay, say yeah. stopping sprint would be easy enough if you have it just like on your yeah. car. Yeah, I do. And I've never used rescue before, but I just swapped it out. So I mean it helps, <laughs> but a lot of people it kind of confuses them when they get rescued. They're like, what happened? But if you want to use rescue, you can, but you guys need to communicate if you are or if you aren't going to do it. I would say just be safe and keep sprint ready. Sounds like yeah. a yeah. Like, nevertheless, you should still use sprint to get to B or C and then come back and then they can rescue you, but. Got it. All right. Yeah, and I have sprint handy, so. That's fine. We'll let him freeze. Wait, is Zell back here? Zell? Did he pop right a sec? No, don't do it. Don't go yet. Uh, Zell's not here. Yeah, we, yeah, I am. I'm here. Sorry. Uh, Gun stack. Gun, you stack behind. All right, you can start transitioning to your spots if you're a healer. AOE. Are you transitioning? Oh. 82% better than we did last time. Not bad. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Give me fell. Give me fell. Oh, so damn close. Fred, you, Ariel, Ariel, and myself will take care of the tethers primarily, and then we switch over to the AOEs. Thanks, do your job. Thank you. Also, if you have cooldowns, pop your cooldowns on these. Um, Predatory, are you still focusing the six ads? No. I have a, I have her on the big ones. Okay, because I just saw ice going over there, so. Big ad, burst it down. That weighs a lot better. Yeah, figured. All right, stack on D. The burst we damage do is a lot use, more useful that way. Yeah, I got quite a bit of good AOEs I can use. I wasn't using Shadow Flayer before. I was saving it for him. But if I use it on the first set of them, I have it up again for now. So yep. I know what I can do now. All right, come on, we got it. We have plenty of time. Nice job. All right, just stack up. 
use mitigations. Well, not any tank cooldowns, by the way. <laughs> Just make sure. Dude, I hit transpose. Why did you take it from me? Ah. All right, watch your colors this time. I got her. Crescent change to D. Uh, C. All right. Um, we're going to need to stack up pretty soon. We can stack up towards C, but immediately be prepared to go to your spots if you get the marker. Stack up. All right. So, yep, go to your spots. Oh, Ariel is dead and he got it. <laughs> All right, so you both did it correctly, so that's good. Um, I think actually, however, Saturn, um, you put it on the white spot. You, um, you want to put it on the very corner of the inner crescent, like when you're inside the small area, just as far over as possible without being in the big area. Uh, could you give them a like flash of pointer for them? It might be easier for a visual cue on that. Like, put it like on this area or like. If it was crescent, or I don't know. Okay, we'll see. so you're gonna you're gonna see the crescent show up on on DNA, right? So the crescent kind of has, let's say, if the lower side is C, what you're gonna want to do is have it like right here, because that's where the lower crescent starts, instead of having it like here, where it's still covered by the bigger crescent. So as long as you're like having your foot on the lower side, you should be fine. Yeah, because when the meteor drops, they change the color of whatever area they go into. So if you're in the black area when the big area is white and you drop the meteor in the white, whenever you need to switch to black, you won't have a meteor to switch to because the meteor is going to be white. Ah, crap. I just used Aether Flow and I didn't need to. TLDR just standing in the small crescent. Basically. Immediately after gun is when you should start running to your designated spots. It's best if both healers start to run towards there, but if you don't have the mark, you can just turn around and start healing again. Because that way you won't get caught off guard if you're the one that has it or not. A good time to start running is right after the stack mechanic. Yeah, because tanks and DPS don't have far to go, whereas healers do, so. Yeah, I totally fucked up. Spear, go to your spots. Nice. All right, so next time is going to be the gun to stack. All right, stack behind. Wait, oh crap, Yurik pulled aggro. Got to make sure that don't happen. <laughs> My bad. I'll try not as hard, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, you could pop loose to dreaming, but I mean, it's not your fault. All right, get ready for ads. 
Come here, mommy and daddy. Let me kick your ass. Damn it. I hate it when that happens. That was a little slower. All right. Really, fucker? That was my bad. Um, we're still fine. As long as he's not at 60% by the time we kill it, you usually can hit the DPS check. Popping devotion. <laughs> nice. All right. We're getting pretty good there. All right, just watch your colors again. Watch your colors. All right. Make sure to keep switching colors. Stack up towards Stack B. Behind. I go to your spots. Perfect. That is how the meteor should fall. Actually, well, it's fine. It's just like the um. Looks like the tank was just like one foot two in, because even I thought it was in the crescent properly. Looks like the tank was just like one foot too far over. But as long as we had one the proper color, we would have been fine, because at this point, everybody would have run to D, because you have four stacks on your dark, so you got to step in the white in order to refresh it to light. Basically what Zelda did. Yes. And that's why you want to make sure I you put have... a visual representation in the raid chat. <laughs> There's a raid chat. Oh, there is. Yeah, a raid. it's right above us. All right, yeah, basically, that's exactly right. Uh, no, Saturn, you didn't fail. It's called You're a learning party this. for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it too much. I mean, and this is like the worst part about this fight, right? It's like the. This is pretty much mm -hmm. the hardest part of it, yes. Everything else is easily callable. The fans in this fight are easier than the fans in the normal fight. It's just mm -hmm. the mechanics that come along with the fans, the difficult part. Yeah. But it's just, not even that just hard. It's like a stack mechanic, but it's nothing too bad. Yeah. <sighs> just make sure we're all stacked up at that point. Let's try to start st um, stacking up towards the big area so the healers have less area to run to.
Spear. Spear, go to your spots. Yeah, it didn't drop every ninjutsu that time. Thank God. Can be a little close. We're gonna have to rush it. I'll pop devotion immediately once we start hitting him. I have trick too. Nice job. Okay. Nice doton. Yeah, that was a <laughs> bit of a oops. <laughs> Watch your colors. I got the healer. All right, we're going to stack behind her towards B this time so the healers have less where you run. But remember to keep switching your stack. All right, stack behind. Uh, I messed up again. Uh, that's fine. Uh, act. Looks like we got at least one on there, so we'll just have to run towards the D side. Nope, never mind. That's a wipe. It doesn't matter. Like, if we get to that far, it's a wipe. Didn't run fast oh. enough, my bad. I mean, on what we did there at that, up to the point of just placing the meteors just out of range, it looks fine. Like, most people still alive, so.
Right, just make sure you're stacked right after that phase, because that's the gun phase. And they're always she's always gonna do a split uh, damage. All right, Vice says one second. Yep. Give me one second as well. Okay. Soda time. Give me two seconds. One, two. I'm ready. My body is ready. Like odd. All right, so um, who's still confused about the colors? I get the colors, but what gets me is when there's like the AOEs, I got to run all the way to the center of the one that's like open. And then when it goes off, run all the way back across the map to the other color to get rid of my stack so I don't get killed, right? No. So basically, there will be, um, if you have black and the AOEs are on the black, you just go to the white side of the map. You don't have to stay on either side. Just immediately go to the up. There's going to be free spaces on each side. Be right back. You just have to stand in those free spaces. I guess I just had crappy positioning because I definitely didn't have like anywhere safe to go. So like if the donuts are on the white and you have a dark mark, you just stand inside the donuts. But if the donuts are in the side of the dark and you have a dark mark, you just go all the way to the white side because there's going to be no donuts on the white side for you to dodge. All right, back. Hey, I am back. Do we have enough time to beat? Are we going to meet me in range? OK, back. Welcome back. I was just asking, do we have enough time to beat? Or are we going to meet me in range? Uh, no, in range is like 11 minutes. So as long as there's a ready check and everyone's here, we'll be fine. Okay. Honestly, we don't have to worry about enrage yet, just yet until we even hit the uh, bright blades and dark blades. Yeah. Okay. We'll probably wrap a few times there. Mm-hmm. Just missing Rory. Looks like Rory is ready. Does Rory need Shadewalker? Uh, she's just saying it because of um, when you pulled aggro from him. Oh my, you pulled aggro from Rory? Yeah, I think at that point he switched to um, offensive stance for a few seconds. Gun, stack up.
Damn, Yurk. Those two accessories you got from 05 Savage are sure as hell paying dividends. <laughs> What's the number out? You're at 61. Ooh, nice. Usually I'm right behind you, but I'm only at 53. Like, Jesus Christ. And I'm sitting down here in the 4K. Blow me nuts. Oh, crap. Wrong side of the map. I'm dumbass. A few more accessories. I'll be able to do some carrying. I'll get there. Nice Good job way. on this one. Still in the blue. <laughs> Devotion up. Good thing we got this phase locked down easy. Yep. The more you do something, the easier it gets. So we just got to keep doing the meteorite phase. Mm hmm. And we're getting there every time. So. Mm hmm. Just watch your colors. Nice job. All right, we're going to stack up towards B behind him, towards the B side. But keep swapping your thing until then. All right, stack. Okay, I died somehow. I died as well. I don't think there was enough stacking. Yeah, not enough people stacked. It's all right, so I don't got this. I did? I got it right this time? <laughs> he was saying you got this as in you're going to solo it. You're going to solo the rest of the boss. Did I get the meter thing right or no? Uh, Honestly, I did not see. If you put it in the small moon, then you got it right. That's all I know. Okay, I have a question. So no matter what I have over my head, I always put it in the smaller crescent, or if I have yes. the dark, I put it in the light, and if I have the light, I put it in the dark. No, you always put it in the corner of the smaller crescent, no matter the mark on your head. Smaller mark crescent, on your head is, good. yeah, it's yeah, like um, you want to switch back so and confusing. forth between the marks because okay. every three seconds, I think, you get another stack. If you get the five stacks of a single mark, you immediately die. So that's why you want to keep swapping back and forth until the single color takes over the entire arena. You remember what we were doing next, Ramus, and we did all four horsemen at once? Yeah. Remember how we had two we divided our force into two groups and we would switch back and forth between the two horsemen mm -hmm. at count at stack count numbers? So I usually do like one to two, and then I'll stick oh, to no. the other that element. Oh, no, that part I understand. Like, the switching back and forth is not a problem. It's the meteor part that I'm, like, getting confused on. I'm getting confused on where, because 
Uh, it's just. Um, I'm not sure who's pulling aggro, but if it's, I think it's me and Yurik, and we can just pop Lucid Dreaming at the beginning of each of our openers, I guess. And that's yeah. Show. I'll just pop Lucid Dreaming after my initial burst, and you should be yeah. good. Yeah. Sorry, and we'll do it worry. once we once we transition. Yeah. We'll do it too, because I think I pulled aggro at that point, which is why I died, and then everybody else died because I couldn't stack with you. Um, Saturn, did you look at uh, what Ariella put in raid chat? Yeah, that visual marker is pretty solid. Yeah. yeah, you're always that's where you're always gonna place the um the B and D the forget the A B D. Okay, thank you. Different. That helps yeah. significantly to yeah. be a visual, thank you. Yes, I figured I was like having trouble with myself and I was like, all right, I'm gonna fucking look this up real fast. <laughs> okay, thank you. Cause I'm like but the whole switching part I get, that's not a problem at all. That it was just the meteor part that I was having yeah. trouble with. Regardless of your mark, you just throw them in them corners like that. Just... Yeah, because I kept thinking that the mark mattered. I kept thinking that the mark mattered during the meteor. At the same time, I also had to, to know what mark to. So that's where I was getting confused. No, you just but have it to make sure matter. that yeah. you have the small mark on you once the entire um, stage turns to the big color. Or else you'll die to the following mechanic after that. Okay, now, well, we got enough time for another run. I doubt we'll beat it this time because we thought we got to the next area. But we might be able to get meteors down this time. So once we pass Supreme Selena Mancy, it's a big, uh, it's yeah. a big jump. Right. There, we yeah. gave Rory all the aggro. Yep. <laughs> I popped Lucid, so. All right. Looks like the healers are learning the marks, so that's good. Well, the sounds, not the marks. percent of that did anyone see 82 that's enough to meet the dps check so, so we got the dps they was super close to pulling aggro right there at the end God, that uses so much mana. I had to pop loose it early, so I'm not going to be able to do it once we get out of the uh, this phase. My AoE uses 1,200 mana a pop. Devotion's up.
think that's our best one yet. Watch your colors. All right, I got the healer up. Stack towards C. All right, perfect. Donuts. All right, go to the donuts, yep. Back to the first one. Immediately after this, run to one of the meteorites. Good, good. I want to be able to get the healer up now. All right, now we just move back to the middle and tank towards A again. Leave. those are fans okay so it'll cover one half side so you want to go to the side that like this over here and then immediately move back into mid after the first one to go off i should have popped spinner and, and then there's going to be immediately a spear or a gun after that i think it's 90 90 percent of the time i see it it's a gun i'm not sure if it's always a gun or not Eric, is it always a gun from what i've seen it's always been a gun Okay, so it's probably always a gun there, but well, yeah. Immediately after we run to the meteorite for that last part of the um, meteorite phase, you immediately move her back to mid and start tanking towards A again. And then you're going to get that fan phase, which just happened with the stack. And then you get another set of meteorites, exactly the same, but it's going to be on the other half of the arena that we focus on. We. We passed Supreme Selena Mancy, so. Yeah, I think we did good. I think we did good. I think we should back out, repair our gear, and yeah, come back. Yeah, we only got three minutes left, so. so. Basically, after that, there's just another meteorite phase right after that phase. Just know that she does reprimand, like, right after the Supreme Selena Mancy's done, so healers have to top off when that happens. I feel sluggish. <laughs> you got spell haste in there? Let's see what I can do as a red mage. I'll be able to um, res a little faster. So it might help a little bit. Cell so says one sec. Yeah, give me a minute too, please. No problem. Can't wait for Map Monday again. I you get like those Map? Freaking... Yeah, it was the first time I did it, so but it's pretty fun. It gives you a lot of gill, which is what I like. It's gonna let me level up my crafters. <laughs> I was able to get a thief's map, but we weren't able to go through it before we quit, so. 
Does anybody want these faded copies of Orchestron? Which ones? I got Riptide, Dark's Embrace, and Against the Wind. Against the Wind? I have not heard that one. Um, Containing the full score. Yeah, it doesn't say where I got it from. I don't know. I use the equestrian rolls if I get them, but I don't ah, know okay. a pair of these. You, you got it from the Elite Marks in Corinthius, Western Highlands. Uh, I love my orchestration list. It's like almost full. Do you have this one? I I do have it. Okay, what about you, Yurt? For which one? Against the Wind? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't look at my orchestration, honestly. I just go for like three or four songs that I want to listen to, which are mainly like primal fights. Yeah, Titan, uh, and then Alexander's good, and then Ifrit's good for me. I also like Locks me though. You know, I have twenty four seven. You know, after after the Sukiyomi fight, once we get this down. I have a feeling to see you, or not to see you, but uh, fucking Shinri is going to be freaking easy. I still want to do Shinri. have the gear. Oh, yeah. Like, we have the gear for pretty... Tsukuyomi's a little tight on the DPS just because she's the highest one. But anything below this, we should just pound straight through with the DPS. Thankfully, Tsukuyomi's that, not that DPS intensive because all of the mechanics. Yeah. It's a pretty low DPS check. Usually, if you get it to about 82% in the first phase, you usually have the DPS to finish her off if none of you die. But with me being a red mage, I should be able to res people a lot easier because it's not just going to be one per minute because of my uh, swift cast. I'll be able to do it over and over. Per limited to my mana, though. Um, Yurik, do you have a uh, mana shift available to give to me during the fight if I ask? Yeah, you just have to call it out. Cool. Because if you don't call it out, I'm going to forget. That's fine. Hey, I have a We should, well, apparently I have a DPS bump, so it should be good now. A DPS bump? Yeah, I, I never heard 6k. Yeah, it was 6k. You're You're averaging about 6k before the transition. My DPS is going to be lower, too, because I don't have a good helmet or a weapon on this one, and it's not fully melded. That's fine. So, as long as you have an extra res uh, capability, that means healers have a little easier time. Yeah, so I'll always, um, that reminds me, the healers, I'll always res. I'll call out if I can't res so that one of you two can do it, but I'll be the priority reser so that you guys can keep, because it's a pretty heal-intensive fight, honestly. There's a lot with of all, AoEs. Yeah, with all the reprimands that happened, yeah, it's going to be yeah. a bit intensive. Okay, I'm ready now, sorry. No issue. I spilled some water everywhere. I had to do a quick mop job. Slight <laughs> issue. <laughs> well, especially when it's on your computer desk, you might get that before it touches something important. I need another beer. Check. You need water, man. He just water spilled water. Spilled. Obviously, I just didn't. spilled water. <laughs> he would I spill need the beer. He wouldn't have spilled the beer that day, right? <laughs> no, you can't spill yeah, it. I've done amazing things to catch a beer and or a glass of whiskey. I promise. You can't spill it if it's in your stomach. So, <laughs> I mean, you can if you have too much, That's and true. then it comes back up, spills out. On, yeah. All right, wait, Mark. Uh, spills out on that two-dollar whore you took home from the bar last night. This wait, is what? actually the only fight that the way marks are needed that I've seen after you even learn the fight. Because you still need to know where to go for the meteorites and stuff. So You kind of get lost easy in a circular arena. Yeah. It's the only fight I've ever seen where you still need them even if you know the fight. Uh, what's up, Saturn? I think she was commenting on my $2 horror at the bar last night. <laughs> Probably, yeah. And how I threw up on her afterwards. That's probably why she was two dollars. I mean, it was afterwards. <clears throat> all righty. I bought her a fuzzy navel. That's all it took. What if you have a fuzzy navel already? 
Mm, pass. Oh my god, I fucked up. Here's a doton for you, bitch. And Bolden's up. Spear. I totally fucked up my rotation. I did too, bro. Don't feel bad. I didn't. I didn't have enough mana to cast for a holy or a flare. So not nearly as bad as me. Get ready for the stack. Still didn't do too bad. Four eighty three percent, so all right. Um since I have scatter, we still should be able to do the um same split for the damage. Jesus, come on. Emboldened about to be up. Give Rory Shade Walker. If you can. He's got it. Um, I don't think it matters at this point because there's no aggro. No, it's because uh, he's just AoEs anyways. Because he's focusing. Okay. Yeah. I just noticed he lost aggro, so I thought it would be. But okay. Yeah. Any other point in the fight, it would have been a problem. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was close. We might need to start using pet passage of arms there. Okay. Um, watch your colors. Oh shit. I Whoa. Up. I thought I had dark, but I had light. Raising Val. Raising Saturn. Stack toward B. Go to spots. Donuts. 
raising areola. Uh, mana shift when you can. Run to a uh, thing. Oh, nope. We didn't get it right. <laughs> we both put, everybody put Crest into the thing. <laughs> oh, well. I'm alive. I got this, fam. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got this. Oh, never mind. You failed. You're off the team. I did. <laughs> I mean, progress. We're pl we're getting to the meteorite places. We just have to place them properly, and that phase should be pretty down pat. Sell. Oh, there you go. How long does it take you to ramp up your combo, Yurik and Fred? 10 seconds? I, 15? Yeah, I would say around 10. Okay. Well, you're going to be getting emboldened at that perfect time from now on instead of early uh, devotion. Yeah, 10. That's when the Fire Force start coming out. All right. Well, you're going to be getting emboldened in a few seconds. Coming out now. Gun for stack. Oh, yeah. You're doing a lot more, Eric. I messed up my uh, rotation halfway through as well. You're still a 6K. Also, I forgot to eat food. <laughs> I haven't been eating food this whole time. I haven't either. I don't have any. I wasted it all in Eureka. I mean, I know the DPS check isn't that hard, so I haven't been focusing on it. Uh oh. I got aggro on that, I think. I do. I want to be able to almost immediately pop and bolt in here.
watch your colors in the next phase. Picking up High Singer. Stack toward B. Go to Marks. Oh. Saturn, yeah, to go. Remember you're north. That's all. I'm north? I thought I'd go to A. A is north. Yeah, what usually people do is they immediately start moving towards their mark, even if they don't know if they have it, because that way if they do, they're not behind. If they don't have the mark or if they do have the mark. But that was only one time we missed it, so that's not bad. Did we just acquire more charm members? What happened? I was just curious, did we just acquire more charm members? Yes, you did. Rendering Galbatross? Huh. Okay. <clears throat> you have been assimilated. We've been perforated by charm. Aw. Aw. It's not your fault we're dying, Saturn. It's a learning party. All right, so let's back out, I guess. No issue. All right. We got past the Supreme Salido, Mancy. That's all that matters yeah. to me. I mean, you that... Guys, we know what's going on. We just have to clean it up a little bit, making sure we're not dying to the colored. And Jesus. that that's we actually are dying there quite a bit. I'm not sure if we're just getting confused on what the colors are or like honestly what's happening. I'm not sure. Um let's find a tank. Uh Bai says that. She has to get up early, so she's got about two more runs in her. Well, we've been doing it for about an hour. Everybody want to call it? We can call it. I mean, we well, made good progress. Yeah, we that went. Uh, like about half that's half fight. of the fight's mechanics. It's yeah. like we didn't make it to half, but that's half of the mechanics because a lot of the mechanics are just repeated after that. Well, it's just like Doom Train. Once you get, we get to into phase four, though. Phase oh. four is easily callable. You just say in and left, in and right, or in and out and left, out and left, right. It's really not that difficult. People just have to be prepared to react <sighs> fast enough, really. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and uh, expand here. It's for healing with me, right? No problem. Thank you guys for allowing me to come, even though I'm totally new. It's all good. I mean, Four I'm, people were new. I'm pretty totally new. Like I only played this game for like two months, so don't feel bad. I, I'm. We're just, pushing three months now. I'm just slightly high on the fact that I actually beat this in DPS for once. Yep. I'm like, so I can do this. I'm just. <laughs> RNG Jesus likes me some days and hates me others. Got it. Yurik, though, man, those two fucking 270 accessories, 370 And I'm the accessories. only D melee DPS 
for this run too, right? Other than the tanks. 